Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the theme of the poem Waterfalls in a Bank written by A.K. Ramanujan, a 20th century Indian poet who lived in the United States for most of his adult life. The poem was first published in Ramanujan's collection of poems Second Sight that was published in 1986. The poem is set in a bank in Chicago where the poet's attention is caught by a man-made waterfall. As he gazes at the waterfall, it stimulates his memory and much of the poem consists of a stream of varied imagery including some scenes from his past in India. Waterfalls in a Bank is typical of Ramanujan's work in the sense that as an Indian immigrant living in Chicago, Illinois, he lived in two cultural worlds, East and West, which for him also represented the past and the present respectively. Waterfalls in a bank achieves its effects by contrasting several sets of opposites, inner and outer, past and present, west and east. So there are so many binaries used in the poem. The poem takes place in a quintessential western setting inside a bank in Chicago. The Setting suggests modernity, commerce, the objective world of business. But the poet, as he observes the waterfall that has been constructed in the bank, is taken, up, taken back in time through a stream of mental images to India, his country of origin. This occurs particularly in sections 1 and 3 of the poem, with its respective images of the woman in childbirth being assisted by her own mother and the aged crippled hoori man in a street that the poet remembers from his childhood home. The poet comments cryptically about this interaction between past and present which also involves a contrast between the Western culture in which he now lives and the Eastern culture in which he grew up. In, the, in these words, as I transact with the past as with another country with its own customs, currency, stock exchange, always at a loss when I count my change, unquote. This suggests a certain regret on the part of the poet at what he has lost in leaving his own country to come and live in the United States of America with its completely different ways. East and West as well as past and present are starkly juxtaposed at the end of section 3 of the poem. The old sadhu a representative of an ancient spiritual culture is starkly illuminated in his act of urination in the headlights of an oncoming car, the product of the industrial civilization of the West. Following this excursion into an Indian past, the poem returns to the firm reality of the present and the outer world of day-to-day -day life rather than the inner world of memory. January in Chicago with its uh, snowstorms, snarled traffic and failing city services presents another sharp contrast with the dark side street of the poet's childhood home in India. 
much of the poem consists of a stream of images stimulated by the poet's contemplation of the waterfall in the bank the images may at first seem somewhat random but they do lead to a climactic moment in section 3 in which the ordinary is transformed into the extraordinary this is hinted at in the first lines of the poem which suggest the possibility of transformation the poet sees the waterfalls as the ancient tamils saw them wavering snake skins cascades of muslin unquote this suggests not simply poetic metaphor but a different way of seeing ordinary phenomena the suggestion that mundane everyday perception might be transcended is taken up again and made more dramatic and explicit in the vignette about the sadhu who urinates on the street and whose act is suddenly illuminated in the headlights of the car thank you